400 miles away. The victim says the attacker yelled at him for being white and rich before she beat him with the hammer. Good evening, everyone, at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Cho. 26-year-old Angela Jones is now being held on assault charges. The victim is a man from Massachusetts who claims Ms. Jones yelled racial slurs and was upset he was driving a Porsche and was hauling a boat. The victim attacked at a gas station in Virginia on his way home, he said, from Florida. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live in Newark with our lead story tonight. Tony. And Bill and Liz, this was an unprovoked attack, and apparently the accused has had problems before. The glimpse of a woman was captured on a witness's cell phone just after a bloody altercation in Virginia. Police say this is 26-year-old Angela Jones of Newark, picked up early this morning at her Fairmont Avenue home by the Fugitive Task Force. The Fugitive Squad went back out this morning before 6, and sure enough, uh, there was the car and uh, knocked on the door, and there she was. You know, we placed her under arrest. Arrested four days after an attack on a Massachusetts man who was fueling his car at a gas station along I-95 in Virginia. Gets in my face and start yelling at me about, you got a message for me, you trying to send me a message, you got to send me a message with your fancy car and your fancy boat. She's punching at me, her hand came up, my glasses go flying and she was starting to scratch the hell out of my face. The hammer attack left him bloodied and bruised. The victim's wife says she was verbally attacked as well. She ran over to me and started to come towards me, and she looked at me and said, I am so sick of you white And police say Jones slammed holes into the couple's Porsche and boat with a hammer before she took off in her Jeep. This picture is what helped identify and capture her. The super in her building says he'd seen problems with Jones before. She had a little incident with one of the tenants on the third floor, and um, they took her away to the hospital. After that, didn't hear anything else about it until now. Virginia law enforcement officers will come and take Jones back to that state to face a few assault charges in an altercation being called a hate crime. We're kind of disappointed here because you know, we're in Essex County and uh, Newark. We're I like to think of ourselves as the most tolerant county in the state of New Jersey and in the country, and uh, we tolerate one another and we don't get into this uh, uh, nonsense. No word yet on when Jones will be headed back to Virginia. For now, we're live here in Newark. Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.